Hey everybody, it's your pal Rick Bray with the Plick Team at Broomtow Gabosis coming at you once more here. We're looking at Seesaw. Specifically in this video, we're going to look at how you can safely put a YouTube video into your Seesaw course. And it does not matter if you do it as an activity or an announcement. Either way is going to work. Now, I'm going to do it as an announcement just because that's what I feel like doing. Um, so I could put my announcement and I could say, hi there. I could say, watch this video, all that great stuff. Uh, and I'm going to send it to everyone. Wonderful. Uh, but when I add an attachment, and that's the same thing I would do in an activity, right? I would add some multimedia for the students. I'm going to select link. Now, let's say that you have an awesome video in YouTube. You have an awesome video in YouTube. You may decide that, oh, I'll just grab this link up here and I'll put that in here. Nope, don't do that. Oh, I know, I know. I'll hit share and I'll put this link. I'll say copy and I'll put that in. No, don't do that either. Why? Because when my students click that link, no matter what device they're on, it's going to take them to this page where there could be ads that start the video. There could be up next videos on the right that we can't control what they are. And there might be comments, even though this is a wonderful comment here, we can't always control what's there for the videos. So we may not want to expose our students to that. And in fact, this video that maybe I'll put a card up here in the corner, uh, this video shows you how to do the same idea in a Schoology course. But let's talk Seesaw. What I want to do, similar idea to what I did in other places, I'm going to click this share button. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You pick what works best for you. Here's the first way. I want to embed this. Now, I don't need to grab this entire embed code. I only need to grab the part right here after the SRC equals. That part that's in quotes is all I need to grab. And I notice that sometimes I have a hard time like clicking and highlighting stuff. So what I found works is if I click down here so that now the window is highlighted, now I can click and drag and select the part that I want. That's all I need right there from the HTTPS colon whack whack all the way through to the parenthesis, uh, the um, quotes, right? And I'm gonna right click and say copy. I could also do like a control C, a command C, whatever the case may be. And I'm gonna head over to my Seesaw announcement and I'm gonna right click and paste or control V and then hit the check mark. And what it's gonna do is put a picture of the video here and give my link. Now, if you're familiar with Seesaw, you could also put a different image in, in here and link to that image, that's totally fine. But when this goes out, let's take a look at what it looks like if I send it. When my students are on a non-mobile device, and I'm probably gonna go in post-production and start with this explanation, but when they click on this video and then they click on the link, it plays it here. Right? There's no, as far as I know, there's no ads to start it. There's no videos on the right and there's no comments on the bottom. It just plays the video with, yeah, this ability for more videos here on the bottom, but it certainly gives us a, uh, a more contained environment for Seesaw. Now, if your students happen to be following this on an iPhone app or an iPad app or potentially an Android app, it is possible that they will be directly uh, sent to the YouTube app, which is gonna kind of thwart this whole experience. So if your students are on a mobile device, iPhone, iPad, Android device, could be a different experience, just so that you're aware. Now, I did say I was gonna show you two ways to do it. So let's go take a look real quick. If I do, uh, let's do it as an activity, why not? Um, design an activity, I'm gonna you know, uh, make a new one. And here, you would put it in the multimedia instructions, again, as a link. That original video, the other way that I can do it, if I hit share, I can copy this link. And if you notice, it's kind of YouTube-ish. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But if you look at the part we copied, it's HTTP YouTube.com slash embed. They use the word embed. So what I can do, if it's easier for you, is I have to copy this link. I can put it into Seesaw by pasting it, but I have to change this. Right now it's u.tu, or sorry, utu.be. I need to make it youtube.com, and I need to add slash embed, right? So again, I needed to change the YouTube to youtube.com slash embed, and then add it, and it's the same exact thing. 
So there you go. That's how you can safely add, or at least more safely add, a YouTube video into a Seesaw course, uh, Seesaw announcement or activity. If you found this video useful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up below. And of course, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifications when new content is posted. As always, thank you for watching.